Hamas was not part of the negotiations. Peace. They love. Assalamu alaikum. May God's peace and blessings be upon everyone watching this video. So what I want to do is just give a quick introduction to what I'm about to share. And what I'm about to share is proof that the Israel Hamas war is about Gaza gas. And I want to share this because I want to show Muslims and Jewish adherents, as well as anyone who wants to know the truth, that the Israel Hamas war is not about Islam, Judaism, Muslims, Jews, Holy Land, nor about anything along those lines. Rather, and again, the Israel Hamas war is about Gaza gas. And what I'm sharing is a clip from I 24 News, which is a clip from June 19, 2023. So this clip was before October 7th and before what Israel is doing now. And this clip that I'm about to show is going to prove that the Israel Hamas war is about Gaza gas. Oh, slam. So let me add one thing. And I didn't think about this until I got home. But since the video that I'm about to share is from June, 2023, the commentator did not know that October 7th was going to happen, nor that Israel will be doing what Israel is doing. So the commentator had more of a optimistic view. So he was using the word probably. So for example, he says that Hamas was not part of the deal, but probably they were part of the negotiations in some way. And he said that Hamas would probably benefit from the Gaza gas deal. But with hindsight, we know that probably was never supposed to be a probably. But the commentator would not have known that October 7th was going to happen, nor that Israel will be doing what Israel is doing. So here's the video and here's Salam again. Peace. Hamas was not part of the negotiations. Right. After two decades of discussions and proposals, Israel has announced it will work with Egypt and the Palestinian Authority to develop a marine gas field off of the coast of the Gaza Strip. So uh, the, the parties are talking about a project that is estimated at around 1.4 billion US dollars yeah. and production of gas as soon as next year. Now, what's important to remember is that this but natural gas, the, the amount of natural gas that is there is is uh, far greater than what the Palestinian Authority needs. Uh, there are around 5 million people altogether living in the West Bank and in Gaza. So there will be reserves, there will be extras that uh, 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 the Palestinian Authority would be able to export mm -hmm. uh, to Europe. Uh, and of course, we know the Egyptians and the Israelis are already doing that uh, from the Eastern Mediterranean. Two points that I want to emphasize. Mm -hmm. One is Hamas was not part of the negotiations. Right. Uh, at least officially it was not part of the negotiations. Hamas that controls Gaza, considered to be by Israel, the United States and others a terror organization. Yeah. However, we probably should expect that they are some sort of party of this agreement. Otherwise, they wouldn't have allowed the, the progression of this uh, right, which agreement. Of course yeah. That that brings me to the next question, which is just you know what this ultimately means for the Palestinian economy. Who's going to ultimately be reaping the benefits here? What happens to the Gazans if Hamas is not involved? Are they going to get any of the financial benefits of so, this deal? Yeah, so probably yes. Hamas. I don't think Hamas would have adhered to any sort of agreement if they were not a party to this agreement, or if they had not received mm -hmm. some sort of assurances with regards to supplies and also to benefits that they will enjoy from this deal. However, of course. These are not disclosed. Right. And now, with the power of hindsight, we can see that Hamas was never going to be part of the Gaza gas deal. And we can see this in the way that Israel is obliterating Hamas and in the way that the world powers who will benefit 
from the Gaza gas deal are turning a blind eye to the way Israel is obliterating Hamas. Slam.